Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will take a look on the, some of the new features that are added to the Oxygen OS community build. So what is that community build? In short, it is a development build in which company will first test out the new features that it is going to roll out in the future devices via the OTA. So they will first roll out to this build and things goes fine and the company feels like this feature is stable and nothing has any much trouble on it. So they will roll out to the standard Oxygen OS 3.2 and branch whatever is running currently so as of now 3.2.4 is the current branch and this is uh, 3.5.0 as you can see so how to install that i have already covered that in the previous part of the video in which i have shown you the first impression so today i have uh, collected out the 25 to 26 new features and guys uh, in this video i may need your uh, support and collaboration too because uh, since as of now i have only one one plus three which is not a review unit which is my personal device uh, some of the features if i if if i may have missed like it is already there in 3.2.4 so please do let me know on the twitter at the js support or you can comment with the youtube channel itself so without any waste of time let's get started we will start with the first feature and this is from the home screen so there is a new page indicator as you can see it's just a couple of three parallel horizontal lines that you can see right now and frequent app layouts has been updated it shows in a much clearer way but even though the text are not that much aligned as it should be and it's pretty much uh, keeps on changing whether you may not open any app or not whether you have recently downloaded or not so it shows all the stuff which have you used recently also if you just go and slide here the clear all button has been removed so in current oxygen was built there were two options either you can clear uh, apps from the this uh, task list or you can clear from the memory itself the, everything has been removed you just has a cross button you can just do only one task which is a standard in as like in the all of the androids but i really like that feature anyway there's new animation and the feature if you just swipe it down you can see you also got this clear all button so you can easily clear all, all the no notification in one shot so some app may not get it removed if they are uh, on the high priority so you may need to do it by individually now we get inside the quick settings so this is the quick setting bar it is completely redesigned as you can see there is a new uh, brightness control level here right now also you can just click here auto it will move to the way here getting inside this setting you can see there's a new VPN option has been added there and it's sort of very nice and layout also has been changed you can see it is completely blockish as of now it's a bit of redesign not exactly low and also you got a new log button feature in case you come back here and if you just click on log button so these buttons won't work any features you can see so this is safe way in case you're not keeping any up on the desktop or if you are just in hurry you can just click on this log button you can see it's showing on the status bar hardware buttons are locked just click here it will unlock now all the buttons will work as usual now we will go inside the setting and see what are the changes being done there so inside first we will start with the wireless network if you go inside this wi-fi you will see there is a new direct wi-fi direct option and there has been new redesign stuff so i guess it was not in the 3.2.4 so it looks nice you can easily create a wi-fi direct with that way moving down to devices under this gestures we have a new feature here and this is one of the feature i really like most so they are total new features flip to mute pocket mode it already been done but i guess it has been re-optimized and this is a new feature three finger screenshot so what is that so you just have to take your three finger like that and just you can see this is one of the feature i really like most whether you do any stuff and if i just captures all the screenshot now we get out and go inside the display and you can see this has been already discussed it has been completely new and going inside this theme we'll see uh, the black mode has been removed so there was two options either complete dark mode is actually called black mode so you might have noticed this is not a dark this is gray this is actually a uh, black and earlier that in 3.2.4 it was completely dark but i hope this will come in future because uh, having an amulet panel if you don't use the black so it's really not nice so i'm just as of now turning into white so this has been done to the white as you can see all stuff has been changed so it looks pretty nice so and if you go further inside the display we have this uh, new pulse notification light so even though it was named as a LED notification but it has been moved to the pulse notification light and the light will blink so fast that you that's why it's called as a pulse notification i mean the frequency of turning on turning off was very small here 
all right uh, going back here inside the storage and memory uh, if you just go you can see there's a new option called otg storage so prior to that there was a three dot you need to click here and select enable otg now it has been completely changed to this otg support so that's nice you can simply enable that and go that now if you go inside this apps and this one here you can see and uh, this is as usual if you click, click on this gear icon you can see apps auto launch option so you can easily control when you reboot your device which apps will launch automatically so already i have covered that opera vpn for example in the uh, september top 10 best free app so when i used to switch on my device you can see my vpn is already get connected if you just click here it will show you exactly which vpn is connected so that is very nice and recommended so make sure to watch that video now if you go inside the security and the fingerprint so there's a couple of changes first of all i guess it shows the fingerprint count how many fingers has been added so prior to that i guess it was in the group now it has been showing it differently the rest things are same there is no much change also there is new section called advanced so if you remember uh, in the current build uh, there was a customized option there but it has been removed now it has been advanced which has some new feature which is called the schedule power on and off so i'm really using that and this is a user experience program and it does work very nice and let me show you how it works so if you go inside the battery you can see i used to turn my phone off regularly at uh, night uh, around 1 am when i used to sleep and i used to woke up in the morning at 4 30 to 5 so usually at that time i used to keep so i mean just have to manage four hours to get sleep time otherwise there's a lot of work to do so anyway this is has been done inside this advanced now if you go inside this system updates you might see uh, this is a completely redesigned and it shows exactly the you know this rockets going on and some a gear icon backside also go inside this gear icon you will see some new feature so it's auto download over wlan it's really nice and local upgrade that means uh, if you have sd card supported inside that one you can uh, move some of the zip files and i need to test that out actually i haven't tested that out so this is, has been done here now we will see some of the small and tweaks that has i haven't covered that one so inside this uh, wireless network you go inside this semi network and if you just uh, select your preferred network type you can see uh, LT is not showing as of now it is showing 4G I actually like the LT name so just to give you a demo if I turn off my Wi-Fi and turn the this mobile data you can see it shows as a 4G it's not showing as a LT so there is a very small tweak here so as you can see uh, right now my phone is not charging and the status bar of the battery indicator is wide if I just turn on my dash charging so you might can see uh, it turns exactly to the color matching to a LED right now as you can see if I just move my phone here so my LED is blue here and it exactly shows the same color so whatever LED color you will take it will show you that color here and there is a new power animation button if I just press my power button here so you might see some different stuff you can see exactly we have new here if I just press reboot here it will show all the options so that's really nice it's a fun animation even though you won't use that feature much but whatever it is uh, we really appreciate and welcome it and there is a new animation when you download any app for example actually i just missed the clip i did try to record that it's not recorded when you try to download some app for example i started install uh, this uh, nova 3 and the asphalt 8 so even though it shows here like download is done but it shows uh, a small beautiful pop-up notifications here there is a new screencast uh, change here if you're just using any screen recorder app so it will show uh, what is the app you're running so as you can see this is a screencast running i'm running AJ screen recorder so it shows the app name so uh, it gives a nice information which app is running if you go inside this battery optimization there is a new layout or new option you can say here you can easily say the apps toes and frozen you can easily turn on and off the toes mode here and also you can control which app you want to be get optimized and which app you don't want but unfortunately i'm not able to get all the apps here for example i want my youtube to run always but it's not showing it's just showing creator studio so that is not recommended and in the last and the least there is a quick notifications here you can see if you just slide it down here you will see this uh, quick control and toggle you can easily do your options if you just hard press it as usual it will go to the same place here so that's all guys all the features that i found out in case uh, anything is there in order 3 24 do let me know in the comments or the and the twitter itself i will be thanking you for that and i will take care of that then so this sort of hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching i'll talk to you in my next video